So in the first video, we set up broadcasting out the activity and state of our app. In the second video, we're going to um, cover receiving back and setting back up our app to that particular state and um, activity from another device. We do that in the app delegate. So up here, as you can probably imagine, it's a function. Um, so it's application. And in here, we're going to create a function. It's going to be application uh, will will continue user activity with type user activity type string. So this is giving us the string for the user activity that was just passed to the device. Now this could be now that string, of course, could be any one of the user activities that the device supports. So you're going to want to have either an if or a switch statement here to handle the different user activity types that you have. Um, I'm just going to use an if statement. So user activity type equals uh, whatever our activity type was. I'm just going to copy that back from up here. I'm going to put that in here. So if our user activity is that particular user activity, we are going to run this particular piece of code. If we can't find any user activities that match, we're going to return false. We're going to say there is an error, there was a problem, this didn't do, we didn't do it. So otherwise, we're going to return. So in here, we're going to handle what to do if we get that particular activity. In your real app, you're probably going to want to perform navigation and segues to the particular view controller that this activity is contained in. But because we're just doing a because we're just doing a really simple example app with only one window, we can just call the root view controller. So first we're going to check that we have our uh, window there. So if let window equals self dot window, check that our application is opened and that we have a root view controller to call stuff on. Uh, so then we're going to go window dot root view controller dot. Then on this root view controller, we're going to call a function called uh, restore user activity state. We're going to pass user activity state and we're going to pass user activity with an exclamation mark into here. So into here. Now, if we didn't have that window, again, we want to return, return false because nothing happened, it didn't work. And if we did have that window, Finally, we want to turn true, saying that yes, we did do it, everything worked properly. So, what does this restore user activity state do? Well, it calls a final function in our func in our uh, view controller that we're going to call, that is called restore user activity from state. So you can see this sets it all up for us. This passes in this activity variable here, the activity from the other device, full of our, um, full of all these things, our title, our delegate, and our user info, which is the one that we're interested in. In here, we want to handle uh, putting the information from that activity in, into our application. First thing we want to get out is, of course, that user activity, um, that user info uh, function. So we're going to get our activity. So let user info. Uh, uh, let user info equal uh, activity dot user info. This will give us a um, easily accessible dictionary with our user information. Now we just need to put the text that we received from our uh, handoff into our text field. So text field dot text equals uh, user info um, and we just want to get the value text out of that dictionary. We need to put an exclamation mark in there to handle optionals and we need to unwrap that as a string. So that error will go away away in a second. There. So now so all together we're handling setting up our activity in our app in our uh, info.plist. We're first broadcasting that this app is currently doing this activity with this information. We're handling receiving that broadcast on another device. 
and restoring the state of the application on that other device. Um, this is usually the point where I'd show you how it works, but I only have one iPhone, so I can't, and for this to, for me to show you this example, I'd have to have two iPhones or I have to build a Mac app. I can't be bothered doing that. So if you have two iOS devices, you can now test this and you will see that the little icon will come up in the corner of the screen on your second device. And of course you'll need an iOS developer account to do that. I'm going to have two other videos that are related to this. I'm going to have a video that shows you how to uh, hand off a web page from your app um, so that say if the user wants to open the content that they have open in your app on Safari on their Mac or on a device that doesn't have your app, you can do that. And how you can open a web, how the user can go from a web page to your app on their device. And I'm also going to include a extension to my WatchKit tutorial series showing you how you can hand off from Apple Watch to the user's iPhone.